Okay, let's take a look at this problem. Uh, let's read the question. The first four terms of a pattern are shown above. Each term is made with cubes. How many squares, the faces of cubes, will be exposed in the hundredth term of the pattern? The first term is made with one cube. The second term with three. The next term or the third term with six. And the fourth term with ten. However, we are not interested in the number of cubes. Of course, we can find out the hundredth term will be a stack of one, two, three, four, all the way down to hundred cubes. Just like the fourth one is one, two, three, four. The third one is one, two, three. The second one is one, two. Now we are interested in the number of exposed faces. So let's see what we mean by that. Uh, let's uh, let's erase these um, red lines. Okay. The number of exposed faces of the fourth one, this is an exposed face, one, two, three, four. And then I have one in the bottom that you can't see, two, three, four. Okay, then I have exposed faces there, one, two, three, four. One, you can't see these, two, three, four. Of course, I have these faces exposed, 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 and of course the ones on the back that I can't show you. So let's use this concept to find out how many exposed faces would the hundredth term have. Let's erase everything and move forward. Okay, so clearly Let's analyze these so-called pink faces. Of course, the hundredth term will have hundred such faces. The fourth one has four, the third one has three, the second one has two, the first one is one. Clearly, the hundredth term will have hundred such faces on top. That's pretty simple, I believe. Okay. Again, in a similar manner, the first one, well, look at the green faces. The first one has one here, the second one has two, the third one has three, the fourth one has four. Clearly, the hundredth one should have hundred faces right here. Now, having said that, look at the fourth one and use the fourth one to visualize the scenario for the hundredth face. The fourth one has four here and exactly four that you can't see in the bottom. And the fourth one has four green faces right here and four here that you can't see. So the hundredth one will have hundred pink faces on top, hundred in the bottom, hundred here, I'm gonna call it the left hand side, and hundred here. So I'm almost done here about these faces, okay, all around the object. So I'm gonna go over it once again. The hundredth one will have hundred here plus hundred here and 100 here plus 100 here. Now I have to account for these faces. Clearly the fourth one has 1, 2, 3, 4. The hundredth one will have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way down to 100 and you have to do the same for the back. Let's see what, what it means mathematically. So basically the pink 2 times 100 tells me 100 here, 100 in the bottom. That accounts for the pink faces for the hundredth object. And the green one, well, the hundredth one will have hundred here, hundred here, that's why I said two times hundred. Okay, now this is a little tricky, just like two seconds ago we said these blue faces in the hundredth case will be one plus two plus three all the way down to hundred and we multiplied by two because there are blue faces on the back too that will be exposed and you have to account for it. So going over it once again, this comes from this. Let's see. This clearly comes from this, this, and this. Okay? And the green comes from here and here for the hundredth one. And the blue comes from here and the back that you can't see. Now, let's erase all that. All we have to do now is clearly or carefully evaluate this. We all know what 2 times 100 is plus 2 times 100. That's going to be 400. We need to find this and once we find this we need to do our math and we'll be done. Let's erase all this and move forward. Okay, 
So essentially on this slide, I'm going to find out what 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to 100 is. One way to do it is write your sequence or series in this manner, the original one, you're interested in this one. Write the same thing all over again, but in reverse order, 100, 99, 98, all the way down to 1, and add each pair. What do you get? For each pair, you're going to get 101, basically the first term plus the last term. 101, 101, and 101. Well, how many copies of 101 would you have here, even though you have three dots here? We know their original series or sequence has 100 terms, so clearly you're going to have 101 times 100. But we are interested in one sum, so we divide this by 2, and if you do your math right, you're going to get 5050. Now, you probably I'm going to erase all this junk. I would really recommend that you really understand why we are doing this, why we are adding it in this manner. This is called Gauss's technique, and you want to make sure you understand how to do it. 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to 100. You write it in reverse order. Pair up the first term and the last term. Each sum will be 101, and there will be 100 such terms. 1, 0, 0. To find this, you multiply this 100 by this 101, and then you divide it by 2, because if you just multiply these two, that's going to give you the whole sum, and you don't want that. So that's why you divide it by 2, and the final answer is 5050. Zero, five, zero. So let's move forward. If you have to really pause at this point and think, and that's OK. OK, so getting back to this, our original picture, original problem. Of course, we, we don't want to draw the hundredth term. And from our previous slide, that's what we had. 2 plus 100 for the pink ones and the ones in the bottom. Two, two, sorry, uh, I misspoke. 2 times 100 for the pink squares, top and bottom. 2 times 100 for the green squares, left and right. Uh, and this one is for the blue squares that you can see here and the ones you cannot see on this side. Okay, so erase everything and move forward. Well, that's easy. 2 times 100 plus 2 times 100 is 4 times 100 and we are going to get 400 of course. And remember from our previous slide we can say this is really 5050. Zero, five, zero. Moving forward again, if you add fa 4 times 100 plus 2 times 5050, zero, five, zero, you're going to get 10,500. That's your final answer. So, in summary, the 100th term will have 10,500 exposed faces. This is your final answer.